What shall we do with our daughters? What parent of a teenager wouldn't go to a talk with that title? Well, an almost forgotten 19th century lecturer, Mary Ashton Rice Livermore, was asking that very question all across the country back in the 1800s. Focusing on the health of women and girls, she advocated for giving up the corsets that were popular at that time. The Framingham History Center welcomed Joan Grassi Spinozola, a former stand-up comedian, current Framingham resident, and history buff, to educate a full house at the Edgell Memorial Library about this amazing woman. Livermore was known as a suffragist, abolitionist, and co-director of the U.S. Sanitary Commission of Chicago during the Civil War. While conducting her research, Ms. Grassi Spinozola learned that Livermore had spoken here in Framingham, probably at Harmony Grove. This interesting talk is just one of the many presentations the History Center has created to highlight their current exhibit, History in the Stitches, which showcases fashion trends through history. I um, do a lot of tours in Concord, and I take a lot of classes over in Concord so that I can learn more about what I need to talk about. And I took a class um, that discussed different speeches that were given in the 18, late 1800s. And one of them was What Shall We Do With Our Daughters by Mary Livermore. And once I read that first speech, that first talk by her, I kind of got hooked and I just wanted to get more information about her. I just think she's fascinating. She was a powerhouse. Yeah. We were discussing the corsets one day uh, during, I forget why, but we were discussing the corsets. And I happened to mention to Annie that I, do a talk about a lady named Mary Livermore and she was always uh, talking about dress reform and that young ladies should not have to wear corsets and tight shoes because it's unhealthy. And then it just snowballed from there. It was equality, it was about education, it was about health care, it was, um, yeah, it, was, it covered everything. And the amazing thing about Mary Livermore was that she never until she wrote her biography, she had never written down any of her speeches, and she had quite a few of them. She could go and speak for a couple of hours just off the top of her head. But she also, after she talked about what shall we do with our daughters, she also did a talk about what shall we do with our sons, and how do we make them more responsible and more respectful. Um, and, and what about our young men and our husbands? I mean, she, she was ready to reform everybody if necessary. That I talk about Fanny Fern, who was a writer. Talk about Louisa Alcott. A lot of women that need to be talked about that we really haven't gotten in our regular history classes. A lot of women who have been somewhat forgotten that need to be brought back out into the light. 